can you use a wireless headset and an Elgato capture card paired with your Xbox Series console? And the answer to that is yes. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to do that with your game and chat audio recorded at the same time. Now, this will take a fundamental understanding of how to connect and set up the Elgato capture card. So up on screen right now, here is a general overview of how to set up your capture card. You're first gonna to wanna to take the HDMI cable coming out of your Xbox Series console and connect that to the end slot on your Elgato capture card. The second HDMI cable will go into the out slot on the capture card with the other end of that cable going into your TV or your monitor. Lastly, you're gonna wanna take the USB cable that came with your capture card and plug the USB-C in into the capture card with the other end of the cable going into your computer. There's one accessory here I'm sure you guys noticed I didn't mention, and that's the Elgato chat link cable. You will not need that cable for any of the two methods I'm going to show you in this video. We're going wireless, baby! Before we get into these two methods, let's first go to our Xbox settings and then make sure that you're in the general tab. From there, go ahead and select volume and output. And then under advanced on the right there, you wanna select additional options. And then within this page, you're gonna wanna make sure that you do not check the mute speaker audio when headset is attached. And then to the right of that, you wanna make sure that you have your party chat audio going through your speakers and your headset. With both of those settings set correctly, no matter if you're using a wired or a wireless headset with your Xbox, you'll have your audio recorded automatically over HDMI to the capture card so that it can be recorded in OBS or Streamlabs desktop. Now with those proper Xbox settings and your Elgato paired with your computer with all of its downloads and drivers that are required, you're now ready to get into the two methods that I'm about to show you in this video. So method number one is actually the easiest and all you need to do is pair your wireless headset with your Xbox. You'll be able to hear your game audio as well as use the mic function that you might have on your headset to talk with people in parties on your Xbox. Now, in addition to that, you will need a second microphone that you can connect to your computer. I know, I know, people don't want to have to buy a separate mic. Why do we need two microphones? Well, with the headset connected to the Xbox, there's no way that you're going to be able to use this mic function to go through the Elgato or the Xbox to be picked up in OBS or Streamlabs desktop. That's just not possible. So if you want to have commentary, Running this setup, you're going to need that second mic so you can select that in your mic auxiliary audio settings within OBS or Streamlabs desktop so that you have your commentary. Now, the one thing I don't like about this method is the fact that the game chat goes away when you have a pair of headphones connected to your Xbox. I got my second Fortnite account partied up with me. You can hear me through the phone's microphone. I know it's bad, but as soon as I pair this wireless headset with the Xbox, this game chat audio is going away. All right, can you hear me? You saw my sound waves going and then just nothing. As you just saw, game chat is different from party chat. So if you want game chat, then you're going to need to have a wired setup where you can use a chat link cable to pull in that game chat and game audio into your computer from the Elgato. If you're interested for how to do that, check out the card above. But if you wanna keep on the keeping on with the wireless, then let me show you method two. I call this the pair to Windows method because all you're gonna need is a wireless headset with a mic function in order for this to work for game chat and for your commentary. The only thing that some of you guys might need is the Xbox wireless adapter and this will allow you to connect an Xbox specific wireless headset with your Windows computer. You guys are also gonna to wanna to download and install the Xbox app as we're gonna be leveraging the remote play functionality within the Xbox app so that we can record the audio out of this application and then we'll still be using the Elgato for that good quality picture. So it might go without saying that for this method, you're gonna need a little bit more resources than you typically would on your computer if you wanna run this setup. With the Xbox app launched on your computer and your wireless headset connected to the computer, since you should be signed in, you'll see your icon on the top right hand side. You're gonna wanna click that and then just go to your settings. And then within here, you're gonna wanna go to audio. And this is where you can select your input and your output device. What we're most concerned about is the input device because we want people to hear us through remote play. So we're just gonna select this drop down, and then we can just select whichever microphone or headset that we've connected to the computer that we want to use. 
In most cases, you should be able to leave this by default because when you connect a headset with the microphone to your computer, it'll take it as the input and the output device. But this is more so as an FYI. The next thing we're gonna to need to do is add our console as a remote play device. So we can do that by going up to the consoles icon here and then going to the console list, unless you have your console already added as a remote play device. You can also get to this list by going to your profile and then within here, you can scroll down just a little bit. And if you don't have anything listed under here, you're going to need to add a console. The steps to add your console are very straightforward. Just make sure to physically turn on your console and that you supply it with solid internet and you'll be good to go. Once your console is added, go ahead and launch a remote play session. So to get to OBS, we wanna get out of the full screen mode here. So I'm gonna go over here to the top left-hand side next to the Xbox logo, click that icon, and then I can just toggle out of full screen and then just go to the left-hand side and select the back button and that'll get my audio back as well as showing my screen normal again. At this point, I wanna open up OBS. You can see I have Matt Elgato gameplay added as well as the audio source added for this video capture device. But I'm just gonna go ahead and mute this because we don't want this. It's not gonna be of use to us because we wanna make sure we're getting all of our audio from the remote play app. So what we're gonna do is actually go to our settings and then go to audio. And then the first thing you're gonna to wanna to change is desktop audio. We're gonna switch this over to whichever headset that you're using. So in my case, it's this Xbox controller headset, this headphones, that's what we're gonna set for our desktop audio. Next, let's check out mic auxiliary audio. And when we select that dropdown, we're also gonna to wanna to select whatever headset that we're using because we're gonna to wanna to take in the microphone that's connected to our headset for the commentary. So after you do that, just go ahead and select apply and okay. Now we have all of the audio I'm hearing through my headphones coming through to OBS as well as the microphone that's connected to my headphones. So this, this is pretty freaking cool. Let's put it to the test. You can tell that that's actually the microphone and I can use it through the remote play app and people can hear me through the same microphone. Right here is a gameplay example of what your audio should sound like along with the gameplay picture using the Elgato capture card. If you're running this type of setup, you should see that the audio is synced up together so that you shouldn't have a problem there. You should also be watching your gameplay off of your monitor or TV. Whatever the direct HDMI output from your capture card source is, that's what you want to be watching so you don't experience any little minor delays like you would experience watching the remote play screen. But what about the game chat audio? We want to make sure we can hear that. So I'm going to unmute my phone here for my second device and we should be able to hear it. Hello, test, test. This is the test. We're getting it picked up in OBS, which we couldn't do before. So now whether or not you're using Xbox Party Chat, Game Chat, doesn't matter. It's all gonna be recorded in OBS. So there you guys have it. Thank you so much for staying to the very end of the video. Let me know in the comment section below, are you going to go with method one or method two and what's your reasoning why? Also check out the video on screen where I show you guys how to separate your audio sources by application in OBS. It's a very neat feature. So something I definitely recommend you guys check out. But other than that, make sure you guys hit the video with the big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and I will catch you in my next video. Peace.